So they were supposed to, it was supposed to come out tomorrow, but covidtests.gov.gov is up a day early. And this is where you can request for a COVID test sent to your rapid COVID test sent to your household. Um, it's for per household. You get a, and it's free. It's totally free. And uh, but you can start ordering today. They weren't supposed to be out till tomorrow, but they have it today. So if you haven't got on there and you're looking for some free tests, there you go. And it's through the uh, U.S. Postal Service, um, I think, to verify the addresses and get things moving along. Mm-hmm. But uh, it's pretty cool. And I uh, did that earlier today. Really easy. Putting in uh, name, address. Um, and an email address to track the you will run into like looking at some of the comments online you may run into some issues if you're in an apartment or a, a complex or if you're in like a duplex where you're like you know, with the studio where you have a b and c mm-hmm. um they only recognize one address so whoever put their address in first will be the ones to get the uh, covid test uh, okay. so okay yeah well, if you're uh, living in an area sorry Oh, sorry. So, so like, 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 you know, probably to cut down on people in the same household attempting to get more, even more tests, right? Um, yeah. But they, they, what? There's just a glitch with the the address first, and I don't see the rest of it, right? Yeah. So it's yeah. That's what it sounds like. I'm hoping they fix it because there, are, you know, there's a lot of folks, and oh yeah, even like the the Sorgatron Studios, you know, you yeah. split up into multiple entities there, and uh, but. Hopefully they get that figured out. But that I think that was one of the big complaints was uh, that was happening. But mm-hmm. that's pretty much it. Like, I haven't seen a lot of other people having issues besides that. Interesting. Yeah, yeah I know. I know uh, the uh, our friend Aaron uh, uh, sent sent the link over that you guys were using. And uh, and, and uh, so so the, but you gave me like I, 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 I didn't see the dot org, but I saw the form that you go to. Uh, for it so um but yeah it's, it's real easy just fill it out and hits it and it says they're going to uh start shipping uh, at at the end of january so always good and you know when you're like i don't know we were talking a little bit about how how anybody we know has had it has been like like a cold and, and and you're never sure and also it's a pain in the butt to get a test still you know especially if you live mm-hmm. in the city right mm-hmm. um because we you know we did have a little bit of an exposure scare at the beginning of the month and a lot of us were just like okay where where do we go what do we do you know um and uh the, the answer is don't go to a cvs in the city <laughs> basically curative.com so yep, curative curative.com right that's, that's that mm-hmm. it seriously it made it so much simpler once i found that website because trying to book anywhere else it was just so annoying. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Interesting. So See, I, yeah, I don't know the site, but we'll let's um let's let's put that in the document then for later, so, so yeah. people can get to it. This Here is to... uh, from your the scare at the the studio. This is where we found the test uh, within forty eight hours of us looking, and then we had results in less. It was like thirty six hours, and it was we were in and out in ten minutes, all outside. We went to the one at the Parkway Center. Nice. Mm-hmm. Nice. That's better because I think originally we were talking about like, what, hey, there's one in Youngstown <laughs> or something, right? Yeah, we were and, near at that point, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So do I have to, to go to another state to get tested um, to make sure? It, to make sure. So uh, I don't know if all of them do it. The one the one place we lucked out with because we could not get appointments anywhere. And it, I didn't know about curative. Actually, someone else turned me on to that, and I would I would use that the next time. Um our sh- the shop and save in Castle Shannon. I don't know if all shop and saves are like this. Theirs do not take appointments. It's first come first serve. So mm-hmm. there is a bit. There can be a bit of a line. Mm-hmm. Um, and by line I mean like maybe five, five to ten people. Um, but there, it's first come first serve. So as long as you're there, a little before opening. I think we were the one day we were seventh in line now unfortunately they only had 10 tests that day so Mm -hmm. you know i was seventh so eight ninth and tenth next three people in the door were the got the got all the tests for the day um but the kind of first come first serve was nice because it it gave me an actual chance of getting tests versus having to wait i mean by the time you're waiting a week you're through the you know the first cdc section of the the omicron variant yeah you so. you've quarantined and not entirely <laughs> sure if you even should have quarantined at that point right, right. so and and i think the, the, we're probably getting to the point where it's probably getting hard to 
uh, convince employers to that you need to stay home. Uh, you know, I know they've cut down a lot well, of those. It, so the funny part is that's why we had to do it because um, Christopher's school did not take our at-home test hmm. as true validation. They wanted a PCR. Mm -hmm. And none of us could get a PCR test. And I was still waiting. Well, actually, I was the only one that was able to get a PCR test, and I was still awaiting results. And they wanted, like, proof that he had taken one. So we went out one morning and waited in line at the, the local shop and say we were able to get it and then use that for his excused absence. So it was kind of it was kind of odd. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Well, um, hey, I got some good news of sorts. Hey, um,